Hey, Mr. Chang here. I'm gonna do a couple of problems that were brought to me by Mr. Maximus in period one, two. Thank you, Max, for uh, I guess sending me these questions via Google Classroom. So at Max P1. That's my user, my subscriber, at max, period one. Uh, and he sent it to me via Google Classroom. Glad to answer these questions for you, Max, Maximus. All right, so, woo, let's get rid of that. This is for skill YA8. Okay, this is also another one of those graded skills in IXL. Y, A, 8. All the questions I've gotten so far from Jerwin, from Max, from Natalie Morales, they're all for the graded big time uh, skills in IXL. So glad you guys are asking these questions. Uh, let's get started on here, Max. Uh, so we're looking for the diameter, uh, sorry, we're looking for the circumference of a circle. Uh, and we know that the diameter of the circle is six meters. So this is one of those where you got to reach back, look in your notes, and realize that the circumference of a circle, so that C of a circle, that little thing there is a circle. The circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter. It's a simple formula. Circumference of a circle equals pi times the diameter. And just as a quick refresher, I'm going to pick my purple pen here. When we talk about the circumference of a circle, we're talking about this purple line right here. Right. Circumference equals the distance or the length, there's a little n, length, around the circle. Okay? So we're measuring like literally... We're starting here and we're going this way around. We're just measuring exactly what the length here is. And what this formula tells you is that if you know the diameter, which is the distance from one side of the circle to the next going through the center, so this is the diameter, all you have to do is multiply it times pi. So We'll go here, and we know the circumference of this circle equals 3.14, that's pi, times the diameter, which is 6. So our circumference is 18.84 meters. You can use a calculator, uh, you can do it by hand, but you're multiplying 6 times 3.14, that gets you 18.84. 84 meters, so in IXL, you would type in 18.84. You would click go, and you'd get it right. And then just to refresh your memory, um, I'm giving my answer in the hundredths, to the hundredths place. Hundredths. That's the hundredths place. This eight is in the tenths. But if you go two digits past the decimal point, that's two digits after the decimal point, you've got the hundredths place. Hundredths. Okay? All right, so that's the first one. And again, we're dealing with circumference. That's the distance around. And we know that circumference equals pi times the diameter. So the next question that I'll answer, let's not save that, is hey, what if we're given the radius of the circle and we're asked for the circumference? So let's take a look at our formula again. The circumference of a circle equals pi times the diameter. And we know that the diameter is a straight line going across the circle connecting two points going through the center 
And we also know that the radius is a line going from the center to just one point on the circle. So the radius is half the diameter. Another way to say it is diameter equals two times the radius, right? So right there, you've got the radius. And if you extended this line all the way across, this whole thing would be the diameter. Okay? So and I'll, let's just make this really perfectly clear. This red, this red line right here is radius. I love how I can just mark over it. So if you know the radius or the diameter is two times the radius, and in this question, they're giving you the radius and not the diameter, all you got to do is multiply this by two. And you get their circumference of the circle equals 3.14 times the radius times 2. And you know that that's 4, so you have 3.14 times 4 equals the circumference of the circle. Circumference equals 12.56 miles. So you put that right in there. And again, we do it to the hundredths place. Okay. Um, there you go. Thanks for the question, Max. Um, please holler at me through Google Classroom via Remind. You know, via email, if you have more questions about YA8, okay? Remember, YA8 is a graded skill. So send me those questions. I'll answer them. Look forward to answering more.